Dude? I am so sorry. The trailer came out like a half hour ago. I know, I know you want to have the first trailer reaction up, but if we hurry right now, we won't be that late. Greg, what are you doing? Greg, are you all right? Dude, you okay? I'm Batman. That's, that's not the line. Drink my piss! No, not again, no! Obviously, this is our most anticipated trailer today. Koi, how you feeling? I don't know that I've ever been this excited for a trailer in my life. Did you ever just know a movie's gonna change your life? Yeah. It's gonna change your life. <laughs> Koi, you're gonna wanna hear everything he's gotta say because he's an expert, guys. Let's get into it. Police! Hands up! Finally get some Edward Nick or Nash. Oh. Oh no. Oh, the seven vibes are immaculate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Let's go! The barista worked hard on that. Fear. Yeah. When that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wanted to kill him. <laughs> I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun! Huh? Oh! 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 It's only gonna get worse for you. Oh, take it easy, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the music! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <it's so> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you are, <laughs> baby! Yeah. I love how deliberate he is. Oh, that Batmobile. Oh, wow, that POV. Oh, that locked off shot. <laughs> oh, shit. Gordon. Black and blue and dead all over. This is the greatest trailer I've ever made. <laughs> <laughs> My man! Oh, hell yeah, dude! <laughs> Look at the stunt work, dude! <laughs> oh, upside down I bat! It. I love it! I love a good upside down shot, boy. I just want to watch that again and meet I don't give a shit what anyone says. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that trailer. Not a single thing. I won't hear it. It is I perfect. The movie's perfect. I don't, Give it the Oscar. You don't care how rose-colored eye yeah. glasses I got. That is the oh most perfect trailer God. in the world. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. I, that was like having a child. I'm so excited. I think excited. I know what it's like to have a baby. Oh, God. Yeah, that, uh, that was... Perfect. I am just loving the way it's shot, the way Matt Reeves captures this. It feels like perfect blend. You know what it honestly feels like? It's like other Matt Reeves films we've seen prior, sure, but it does have this flair of Christopher Nolan, but more comic book panel. And that's what I loved about the way it's being, it's looking. Like even the, the yellow lighting a lot of the time was making me think of Nolan. But more than that, there's also like so much great reflect, reflective lighting happening throughout this whole trailer from blue to red of a whole bunch of great color palettes. And that's what I mean. It's just like the framing 
devices right down to the ending shot with Penguin looking at him. And he's upside down like a bat. I'm like, man, this feels like a comic book. And my, my main takeaway, because that's what we got to focus on, so we're all efficient here. My main takeaway, though, was I read the comic uh, Batman Ego a few weeks ago, where he's basically being confronted with himself. Bruce Wayne is being confronted with the identity of Batman. Batman is pretty much being like, you have to cross the line. You have to kill. You got to go to that depth that deep dark place let me take over and that's so much of the impression that i'm getting in this trailer like there's this one shot where it's like yeah they have the romance going on between him and catwoman but when he's like taking out a guy catwoman's like damn you're you're freaking psychotic, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. I'm loving it. They got all these different puzzle pieces here from Penguin to Riddler, but before Koi kicks so much ass in this talk, John, get in there. Yeah, man, I agree 100%. <laughs> this looks like the perfect blend of like a comic book movie that has the full comic book range, but also the full range of just cinematic gravitas. Yeah. Like this looks harsh, it looks desolate in a lot of ways, and it looks like, yeah, a more populated Gotham with more up, uh, you know, like larger than life characters like the Penguin and Catwoman and the Riddler and Batman like you know it seems like you know, with the Nolan ones you would have a you know one kind of focal villain maybe mm -hmm. a couple other people this feels like yeah a more sort of comic book Gotham world where yeah we can see rise to many other villainous characters but yeah just the mood the aura the harshness of everything the music yeah, man the music yeah. And, yeah for a year or two to fight for the soul of Batman and yeah. to really figure out for Bruce Wayne what that soul is like that's what I got from this and yeah. I'm super excited to see that Koi it's okay. I may embarrass myself. <laughs> You're gonna embarrass I, us. Yes, come on, right. go for it. You're go. This, this is everything I wanted and more. This feels like a Tim Sale drawing. This feels like a David Finch drawing. This feels like a Clay Mann painting drawing. He, the, yeah. This feels like a comic book. The frames, the architecture, the style, the beautiful cinematography. But most of all, to me, this feels like a David Fincher film yep. through the lens yep. of Matt Reeves' pacing. Matt Reeves does an incredible job letting a frame breathe. Matt Reeves does an incredible job letting a character be a character. And David Fincher does an incredible job framing. So I feel like David Fincher does cinema a service and Matt Reeves does actors a great service. Now we're putting those together and we're giving up Batman for the ages through yep. two of the greatest I know David Fincher's not directly involved, but the feeling of this and this to me more than the other trailer feels like a Catwoman movie. This feels sure. like Catwoman is as equally paired as Batman and that's the beautiful duality of Batman. Batman's duality is he won't kill, but he also has this amazing contrast of emotion towards Catwoman. She's a criminal. She's the things he doesn't want to believe in. He's warring on crime, but who he loves is a criminal. This this whole trailer was Robert Pattinson as a clenched fist. He ah. His mouth, his yeah. body language, his architecture <laughs> as a human being was this clenched fist, and everything about it was him trying not to break. Yeah. And I think the thing that's gonna break him is Selena Kyle. We see this beautiful penguin representation by Colin Farrell, this mafioso penguin. We hear that this is all a powder keg and Riddler's the match. Gotham is about to explode, and the entire time Batman's trying not to break his rule while falling madly in love with the criminal, while living in the most fleshed out Gotham I've seen to date, this trailer was cinema, and I will watch it a feature length amount of times. So yeah. I, I could, I, the expectations were high, and it, it outlived them somehow. It's just so beautiful to behold. And Colin Farrell looks freaking Dude, incredible. I cannot this, wait to see that. To this <laughs> day, I'm still like, oh yeah, that's Colin Farrell. Yeah, like, yeah. that's still happening when I'm watching this. Like, he is just so gleeful and maniacal, and he just- I got you. He really feels like Penguin from the comics. And you see why this <laughs> got a show. You see why this yeah. is an expanded universe. Sure. You see why this can go on and on and on. They can make 10 of these, they can make a show, they can expand this out, and it feels unique to itself. This is like nothing yes. I've seen. But the way they are capturing, is ever Nash this time around, right? Mm -hmm. The way they're capturing Paul Dano here feels so much like, yeah, that that's the most Seven-esque reminiscent yeah. that you get. Like, that's super Fincher. Just the, the framing devices they're used in the diner and the way the tracking shots were working. But this is gonna get crazier, man. There's a one shot where it says serial killer live stream. Yes! Like, this is yeah. year two, so I imagine that with Batman here that, that that traditional heroic thing is that it brings rise to rise it brings <laughs> rise to other villains in Gotham and he's, it's like what difference am I making here in Gotham like what how am I making a difference when these worst people keep popping up and I'm probably in some way giving birth to this and, and I how think am I different from them yeah <laughs> and that's what I think Catwoman's gonna do for Batman is how he's different from Catwoman and I think we're gonna see her dealing with the wealth inequality of Gotham he represents this figure that's partying by being 
being Batman. He's trying not to break his rule, but that's his outlet. Like this guy's a broken billionaire who's getting out his frustrations. Catwoman's getting out her frustrations from just stealing and being a criminal right. doing these things. I think we're gonna see a beautiful Catwoman origin story. We're gonna understand Selena Kyle more than we have before. And it's gonna be two paths you can take. You can take one path to become a criminal, one path to become a Love Batman, and it's going to be insane. <laughs> yeah. Give me three hours. Give me four. Yeah, I'm, I, I I cannot wait for this. <laughs> Release the Reeves cut. We, we even got some Alfred Pennyworth in here. Oh, it looks like a very endearing. And I gotta say, years ago, when we saw War for the Planet of the Apes, there's a shot early on when he's leading up to fighting Woody Harrelson in the beginning, Caesar, that is doing the flash in the cave. And when I saw that, I think I said it in the review, that there's a shot early on in the cave, the sequence, where you're like, that right there showed me this guy can do the Batman. With the muzzle flashes. The muzzle yeah. flashes, and then it's right here in the shot. And that is yeah. Yeah. Holy yeah. I'm like, it's, yeah, it's, I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly why I said he could do the Batman. Is because in that one image, I'm like, oh, I'm so glad it's here. Well, that's I, I gotta pull thing. that clip to find that I really loved about about seeing this portrayal of Batman is that as, as harsh as he is in that first teaser we got, mm -hmm. that scene in the hallway suggests that too he is deliberate. He's just walking down the hallway, letting them shoot at him and just taking them down well, one by one. I think know? Robert Pattinson, what's so cool about what he's doing here, a lot of this is going to have to be in the body language with his yeah. eyes and, and such. So you guys know body language. So he's got to do that. But what's neat is it's more than just aggressive Batman. You can can feel the conflict within him. Yeah, this pain. whole trailer, he brings <laughs> such life in his in his eyes, <laughs> where it's like, this dude really wants to kill these people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he looks like he wanted to punch straight <laughs> through the glass and just grab yeah. it. If there was ever someone to understand Batman, it's a guy that's like, I've been under the lens yes. of paparazzi for 10 years, please let me be. <laughs> like Robert Pattinson is Bruce Wayne, and I could totally see him using Batman as an outlet. And yes. Robert Pattinson, I think, is the most underrated actor of our generation. The man is such a powerhouse in everything he does. Let Twilight die. This man is Batman now. I really hope this answers all. He's yeah. so good. He's a phenomenal actor. And, and yeah. If you've never seen High Fidelity, Zoe is mind blowing. Yeah. Colin Farrell. This cast is impeccable. I mean, Andy Serkis needs to not be explained. But what they're Jeffrey all doing, Wright, man. they're all yeah, embodying right. different. They're all playing against type in a way. Yeah. Like they all have a certain archetype they play, and they're doing that through this insane visual. And I don't think we've seen something look like this much of a comic in a noir setting to yeah. date. Guys, what the hell did you think about this trailer? <laughs> wow, I am sweating, and yep. that, it's so crazy <laughs> when like the first trailer was such a surprise, and then the second trailer completely delivers. <laughs> that is nuts. Uh, this is gonna be a massive film, and I can't wait. Follow Koi Jandro, clearly knows what he's talking about. Check out John's OnlyFans. You could subscribe to me over on my, uh, my, my Napster page. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. Oh yeah, and thank you to Tony Gill for holding the camera yes. <laughs> and helping us with the camera and the sound. Thank you so much. And thank much. you to Luis Lopez for uh, doing, helping us with the sound design in our opening sketch.